Saxe Coburg Saalfeld was one of the Saxon duchies held by the Ernestine line of the Wetton dynasty. Established in 1699, the Saxe Coburg Saalfeld line lasted until the reshuffle of the Ernestine territories that occurred following the extinction of the Saxe Gotha line in 1825, in which the Saxe Coburg Saalfeld line received Gotha but lost Saalfeld to Saxe Meiningen. Saxe Saalfeld 1680-1735. After the Duke of Saxe Gotha, Ernest the Pious, died on 26 March 1675 in Gotha, the principality was divided on 24 February 1680 among his seven surviving sons. The lands of Saxe Saalfeld went to the youngest of them, who became John Ernest IV, the Duke of Saxe Saalfeld. But the new principality did not have complete independence. It had to depend on the higher authorities in Gotha for the matters of administration of its three districts, Saalfeld, Grafenthal and Probstella, the so-called Nexus Gothenis because that was the residence of John Ernest's oldest brother, who ruled as Frederick I, Duke of Saxe Gotha Altenburg. Saalfeld was the residence of the Dukes of Saxe Saalfeld from 1680 to 1735. When Albert V, the Duke of Saxe Coburg, died in 1699 without any surviving descendants, disputes arose over the inheritance, especially with Bernhard I of Saxe Meiningen, and they were not settled until 1735. Most of the Saxe Coburg properties were given to the new Ernestine line of Saxe Saalfeld and the Principality of Saxe Coburg Saalfeld was born with John Ernest as its Duke. However, the districts of Sonneberg and Neuhaus in Renweg had to be handed over to Saxe Meiningen and the district of Sonnefeld had to be given to Saxe Hildberghausen, one third of the district of Romhild and five twelfths of the district of the Mar remained with Saxe Coburg. Saxe Coburg Saalfeld 1735-1826 after the death of John Ernest IV in 1729, his sons Christian Ernest II and Francis Josias ruled the country, consisting of two distinct and separate areas, together, but at different residences. Christian Ernst remained in Saalfeld, while Franz Josias chose Coburg as his residence. In 1745, when Christian Ernest II died childless, his domains were inherited by his brother, Duke Francis Josias. In 1747 Francis Josias was able to anchor his birthright in the line of succession laws and confer it on his rapidly growing family for the long-term survival of the House of saxe coburg saalfeld his youngest son Prince Frederick Josias made himself and the duchy famous with his sieges and victories as an imperial general and field marshal in the Austro-Turkish War and the War of the First Coalition against France. His brother and regent Duke Ernest Frederick was known more for the perilous finances of his duchy which underwent from 1773 onwards a forced management of debts by an imperial debit commission until 1802 and affected the fortunes of his successes. Duke Francis Frederick Anton, who ruled for only six years, was forced in 1805, especially by his minister Theodore Conrad von Kretschmann, for the renewal of the ailing duchy to make a contract between the two duchies, Coburg and Saalfeld for a uniform state system with a state administration of the principality, which regained its full independence in 1806 with the fall of the Holy Roman Empire. It was the children of Duke Francis Frederick Anton who assured the dynastic success and survival of the House of Saxe-Coburg. The fame of Prince Frederick Josias led to the wedding of his daughter, Princess Juliana, with Grand Duke Konstantin Pavlovich of Russia. Another daughter, Princess Marie Louise Victoire, married Prince Edward, Duke of Kent and Strathern, in 1818, and became the mother of Queen Victoria. The youngest surviving son, Prince Leopold, was elected in 1831 as Leopold I, King of the Belgians. In 1816, his elder brother, Prince Ferdinand, married Maria Antonia Coari du C.S.A. Bragg, 
who came from one of the wealthiest aristocratic families in Hungary and founded the Catholic line of saxe coburg Coari. Their namesake son, Prince Ferdinand, became in 1837 Dom Fernando II, King of Portugal and the other son, Prince August was the father of Ferdinand I, who became the sovereign prince of Bulgaria in 1887 and the Tsar in 1908. In addition, the heir to the throne of saxe coburg was Prince Ernst, who became Duke Ernest III in 1806. He was the father of Prince Albert, who married his cousin, Queen Victoria, in 1840 and became the Prince Consort of Great Britain and Ireland. On 15 December 1806, saxe coburg salfeld along with the other Ernestine duchies, entered the Confederation of the Rhine. From November 1806 until the Peace of Tilsit in July 1807, the Principality was occupied by the French. Only then Duke Ernst I was able to return from his exile in Königsberg in East Prussia. A border treaty with the Kingdom of Bavaria in 1811 led to a territorial swap of the disputed territories. The towns of Firth and Berg, Hof and Steinich, Niederfelbach and Tribesdorf came to saxe coburg Glenison, the Schleifenhahn Mill, Buckham, Forst and Herath went to Bavaria. In 1815, as the reward for fighting in 1813 on the Allied side against Napoleon, the Congress of Vienna sent an area left of the Rhine River, later called the Principality of Lichtenberg, a territorial gain as well as membership in the German Confederation for the Sovereign. On 8 August 1821, the duchy received a constitution. The extinction of the oldest line, saxe gotha in 1825 again led to inheritance disputes among the other lines of the Ernestine family. On 12 November 1826 the decision, from the arbitration of the supreme head of the family, King Frederick Augustus I of Saxony, resulted in the extensive rearrangement of the Ernestine duchies. saxe coburg salfeld became saxe salfeld with the district of the Mar from saxe meiningen The Duchy of saxe gotha was left without the districts of Kranichfeld and Romhild, which fell to saxe meiningen and without the domain of Altenburg, which turned the Duchy of saxe hildburg hausnen into the Duchy of saxe altenburg but saxe coburg gained from saxe hildburg and the two districts, Königsberg and Sonnefeld. The new duchy of saxe coburg and Gotha was born as a personal union of the two duchies of saxe coburg and saxe Gotha. Ernest III, the last Duke of saxe coburg salfeld then became Ernest I, the first Duke of saxe coburg and Gotha, Dukes of saxe coburg salfeld 1680-1729 Johann Ernest I.V., son of Ernst I, Duke of saxe gotha Altenburg. 1729-1745 Christian Ernest II, son of the previous Duke. 1745-1764 Francis Josias, brother of the previous Duke. 1764-1800 Ernest Frederick, son of the previous Duke. 1800-1806 Francis Frederick Anton, son of the previous Duke. 1806-1825 Ernest III, son of the previous Duke. Prime Ministers of saxe coburg salfeld 1801-1808 Theodore Conrad von Kretschmann. 1808-1822 Johann Ernst Gruner. 1823-1824 Ludwig Hoffmann. 1824-1840 Christoph Anton Friedrich von Karlowers. Bibliography. Karl Christian Dressel, Die Entwicklung von Verfassung und Verwaltung in Sachsen Coburg 1800-1826 im Vergleich The Development and Comparison of the Constitution and Administration of Sachs Coburg 1880-1826. ISBN 9783-428120031
Johann Hubner, Drehunder, Dre und Dreisig Genealogische Tabellen, Nebst den in der Zugehörigen Genealogischen Fragenzer Erlauterung der Politischen History, mit sonderbarem Fleischier so Samen Getragen, und vom Anfang der Welt bis auf diesen Tag continuet, Nebst der Zudin Lichen Registern, 333 Genealogical Tables. Together with those related questions of genealogy to explain the political history, compiled with great diligence, and continuing from the beginning of the world to this day, added herein with relevant records, Table No. 166.